Well, the Castle Mine Bed and Breakfast is a 121-year-old Victorian mansion near downtown Denver. We came along and gutted the house with the intent and purpose of becoming a bed and breakfast. We offer uh, afternoon tea and full breakfast to the in-house guests and we also offer uh, small weddings and catering for bridal showers, baby showers, wedding receptions. There are three of us who are licensed to perform weddings at the Castle Marn because I'm the one who's in the back orchestrating all of the uh, wedding. So I am the one making sure the lights are dim, the candles are lit. I'm the one that makes sure that the bride comes down the stairs and that she has her bouquet and that the florist and the photographer are all in place. Bed and breakfasts are as unique as the owners and innkeepers that run them. So to have a wedding or a special occasion at a bed and breakfast is to step into some other life, some other time, some other era. You can go to a judge, get married in chambers, you can buy the license, get married under a little trellis with artificial flowers right there at the counter, but why not do something special? It can be done Economically, it can be done with elegance and personal touch. When it's a big wedding, the bride and groom hardly have time to say hello to everyone. We do wonderful blending ceremonies. Most of our brides and grooms come from somewhere else. We tend to be a destination wedding site. I am very flexible with the use of other vendors. My one rule about bakeries, the cake has to come from a commercial kitchen. I do not accept commissions nor kickbacks. If I recommend a vendor, it's because that vendor's the best in the business. My father collects antique clocks, so this is part of the ambiance of the Castle Marn. I do not have a liquor license, so our guests are welcome to bring their own champagne, bottled beer, and wine. But our servers will take care of all the pouring. We have all the dishes, we've got all the linens, we've got all the glassware, so they're not having to rent any of that. We do all the catering on site, so they're not having to bring in another caterer. I like to keep our weddings under the $10,000 mark. And that would be to rent the entire house and 18 to 20 overnight guests. That includes breakfast in the morning. Couples do not need to have a huge floral budget if they're going to get married here because our gardens are so lovely, so colorful. If the wedding becomes smaller, then they owe less money at the end. If they've added more guests or they would like to add another, another course to the dinner, I'm flexible. They just pay more at the end. I am intrigued over the years how many of my uh, first contact is the groom. I suspect that's because so many uh, brides are working. This is a two-income couple and she may not have as much time available. I think it's just the times are changing and that the grooms are becoming more engaged earlier on. <laughs> engaged, I know that sounds... <laughs> well, I'm one of the two sons of the owners and um, I've been, I, I've literally been raised in the, in the hospitality industry. If we have a larger wedding, I will be doing things like setting the table up, putting things out. If it's a larger wedding, we'll have a buffet style. So I'll be setting that up, um, helping with the kitchen, cleaning up, moving things, getting, getting everyone situated just before the wedding so that everyone knows exactly where they are and what will be going on so that they, things run as smoothly as possible. That's where I come in. A lot falls on the bride and groom to do their part to make sure they're on time, they're ready, and make sure they're mentally able to handle the fact they're getting married. They're making such a huge commitment and they're doing one of the most important things in their lives with us. And I, I can do it with their help. The bride, she had this really interesting tattoo, but it wasn't really a tattoo coming up out of her dress. So it didn't look too good and it, it, it kind of messed up the dress, but it looked exactly like her mother's. So she and her mom were kind of matching, except hers wasn't a real tattoo. It was just kind of painted on there for the wedding. My family, my mom, have been great role models for me um, in this business that I've grown up in and found I love. Well, isn't that fun? <laughs>